Hello guys, welcome back to MufasuCat with AutoCAD basic texturing and rendering tutorial and also don't forget to subscribe our channel here, it will be helpful for us to growing up. In this uh, tutorial, I will create a uh, grass field environment and you can get uh, these uh, all files from our site MufasuCat.com. Okay, we start now, open exterior rendering files, you can click uh, these files twice and then we have uh, four object here three cylinders and one box object and we have uh, one uh, camera you can see here next I will apply uh, material into this uh, all object you can click uh, visually step here and click uh, material browser to open a uh, material browser dialog box right click in uh, global material and duplicate give uh, the name about cement okay click in uh, cement material twice and we give the image you can click uh, this uh, cement jpeg and then click open i will apply a uh, bomb material here and select for uh, this uh, jpeg and open okay and then we apply material into the object you can click uh, this uh, three object cylinders right click in a uh, cement material and assign to selection you can see the result here and then I will use uh, material mapping here, click here, and then click uh, cylindrical. I will select uh, this uh, object, enter, and then right click and rotate. Select uh, this uh, green axis and move uh, to this uh, point. Enter again, and I will select uh, this object, click uh, material mapping here, and click uh, this uh, green uh, axis, move uh, to this point and I will select uh, this object click uh, material mapping again and click uh, this uh, green axis and move uh, to this point enter to finish I will select uh, this uh, image texturing and I will change the sample size about 1 ok you can click uh, this object and for height about 20 Okay, you can see the result. I will uh, click uh, about more texturing and change the sample size about 1 and height about 10. Okay, and then we close here. So right click in the uh, global material and duplicate. I will give a uh, ground uh, material. Okay, click at twice in the uh, ground material. I will select uh, the image. I will choose uh, this uh, ground one image. Open and for bump, I will choose uh, this image. Open and then we apply on this face. You can click uh, this face and right click in uh, ground material and assign to selection. Okay, I will edit the texture here. You can click uh, this image and we edit uh, for a simple size here about egg and then egg about egg too okay you can close and we editing for a uh, bump texturing here for a uh, simple size about 12 and simple size about 12 and it's okay and then for amount here about 400 okay I think it's enough and you can close here so i will create a material again right click in global material and duplicate i will create a line material we give the name about land okay click at twice in line material and give uh, the image here i will uh, give uh, this uh, land image and open and for bump we use uh, this image and open and then we will apply material into this face and then also this face right click in this line material and assign to selection okay you can see the result here you also can edit the texturing you can click this image and for simple size about 10 here for width and hack about three 
okay for a bump material here you can edit the texture sample size about 20 and then hack about one and close for a amount of a bump is about 200 here okay and then you can close here so we will apply grass material I will change into uh, to the wireframe and change into front view I will create a plan surf object okay you can click plan surf here and we create a plan surf from uh, this point to here okay and you can change into realistic view and rake it in a global material and duplicate I will give uh, the name about grass one okay click twice in grass one and then use the image here I will choose uh, this uh, grass one image open and we use the cutout select the image I will select uh, this image and open and then click uh, this uh, object Lens of object, rake it in grass material and assign to a selection. Okay, you can edit uh, the image texturing here. The sample size for width about one and height about one. You can see the result here. And for horizontal, I will use none. And vertical, I will use none. Close and we edit for a cutout. I will change sample size here about one okay and then horizontal none vertical none and close and we create a plan surf object again here i will create a from uh, this point to this uh, point okay and rack it in global material duplicate and i will give the name about grass 2 okay select a grass to material and choose uh, the image here i will choose this uh, grass to image open and we use uh, cutout material here you can select uh, this uh, image and open and then i will apply material into this uh, plan surf object right click in grass to and assign to selection okay we also edit the texture you can click uh, this image and sample size about one horizontal is none title is none and then for uh, cutouts i will use the sample size here about one and horizontal is none and vertical is none and close okay you can see here you also can use uh, material mapping here about planar and change the size of uh, the object to this uh, point okay okay you can see and i will close uh, this uh, material editor i will change into to the wireframe here and change into top view and i will move uh, this object to this point and then i will rotate this uh, object from uh, this point facing to camera okay and we copy this uh, object uh, okay you can copy this object to here we copy in here okay this is for a uh, grass effect uh, into the object okay you can see Okay, we copy in here and right click enter to finish. We move again uh, this object to this uh, point and rotate uh, this object from uh, the center point and facing to camera. Okay, and then we copy again this uh, object to this uh, point in here okay we'll copy in here too and we copy in here okay
right click and enter to finish I will click to waste in a cement material and use the thin effect here change the colors to this uh, colors okay and okay close I will click twice in a ground here and use a thin effect and change the color into this uh, colors and move uh, to this point okay and for the land here I will use a thin effect change the thin color here to this uh, point and move uh, to this point okay can select uh, this cement I will uh, change the amount of a bump here for the cement material into uh, 100 uh, point okay you can close I will change into camera one view you can click here camera one and change to the realistic view and you can rotate uh, this object okay and then I will active uh, full shadow use the high crawl rendering and I will active the environment here use a background to solid and white color okay click ok and then for exposure you can set up a uh, egg point egg and close and then we try to render you can click here to render the object and we waiting for the rendering process until finish it's about 10 level we finish the rendering process now about 49 seconds and I think it's enough today for AutoCAD basic texturing and rendering tutorial how to create a grass fruit environment. If you have any question about this tutorial, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in another AutoCAD texturing and rendering tutorial.